Hi, welcome to Unit 26. This time we're continuing our discussion about capital budgeting, but we're going to focus on this internal rate of return. Now, for this unit, we have three key areas. We're going to look at some of the key characteristics of this internal rate of return. Our second point we're going to discuss is the uncertainty of cash flows when using our capital budgeting, and again with that focus on our internal rates of return. And the third point we're going to look at is about the simple rate of return method, and you'll see that later on in the material. So let's begin with some of the uh, key characteristics of this internal rate of return. This term, uh, internal rate of return, is used interchangeably with the, the terminology of a yield of a particular investment or a project. So what this internal rate of return is, remember, this is the rate of return that is promised by an investment for the lifespan of a particular project. Now, how do we then determine, how do managers, how do organizations determine whether or not a particular project, a particular investment is good or not? Well, if you're using this internal rate of return as a measure, well, if this rate of return is equal to or greater than the required rate of return for that manager, for that group, then the project is accepted. But if it is not equal to that minimum required rate of return that they desire, then the project would be rejected. So, how then do managers and uh, executives go about making these decisions? So, keep in mind that managers the decision-making process is based on two things, two areas. That is the first one being screening and the second one being for preference. Now, this screening, well, this determines if something is acceptable or not acceptable. And the second part there was preference. And this preference, well, this lists or rank alternative options from desirable to least desirable. So they can pick the best choice that suits their needs. Now, keep in mind, with this internal rate of return, when it's being used as a part of your analysis for uh, whether or not to accept a project or not, one of the key hurdles, one of the key barriers in accepting or approving this uh, investment is the cost of capital. That is the first area that the validity of a project of investment must overcome for it to be considered, for it to be approved. If the cost of capital is too great, then your other steps, those other steps being if the rate of return is equal to or greater than or less than the organization's required rate of return, that becomes the first and primary area that needs to be overcome. So please read through the material and when we come back we'll discuss about this simple rate of return method. I'll talk to you again soon.